Welcome. Bob from New Wave Therapy here. And today I'm making a video that actually follows up from a Zoom meeting we had with the country doctor out of Cheyenne, Wyoming. Uh, it was a good long meeting. It was an hour. And we covered a lot of points. We answered a lot of crucial questions. And we got a lot of great feedback. There was one thing that we couldn't answer at that Zoom meeting that I want to answer today. And that was, I was asked by Dr. Dan himself is if uh, we should use specifically red light therapy uh, with skin tags. Uh, skin tags themselves are usually made up of combination of skin cells, oh, collagen fibers, uh, nerve cells, fat, and, and blood vessels. And they're often attached to your skin by a thin cylinder called a stalk. Now, skin tags can be the color of your skin, or they can even be red toned. And sometimes they grow a flap-like formation, which hence gives them the name of skin tags. Uh, skin tags aren't cancerous. They're not really that detrimental. They're just kind of nasty looking, and you just want to get rid of them. And because the, the red light therapy itself goes ahead and actually activates collagen growth and increases blood flow, and consequently would actually grow the size of the skin tag. That's the last thing we would want to do. So my suggestion is to not use any red light therapy directly on a skin tag because it will make it larger. But secondly, uh, to have it removed correctly, you know, they can freeze them off, they can use a, a, a hot laser to, to trim it off, uh, they can do use the scalpel as well to surgically remove. Um, once that is accomplished, and you have the skin tag removed from your person, you can then use the red light therapy to help with alleviate any type of scar tissue growth and don't have that little situation there to deal with. So that answers that question that we couldn't answer there. So we wanted to make sure we got that answered. Now, what I'd like to do is go over some more advanced light therapy today. And I want people to understand that there's constantly uh, new findings and research projects that are coming to life uh, that expands both the knowledge and the ability uh, to use light therapy correctly and relate to a client's needs in a much more professional manner. And um, once you understand uh, the more technical aspects of new wave therapy devices and how, and how they'll increase your ability to help your clients in a manner that other practitioners cannot, you'll really see the benefits of light therapy and adding that to your practice. So there's a couple of questions I want you to think about as we go through this video. And the first one is, do, do you understand or know the difference between using a steady or solid beam of light when it's compared to using a pulsing or flashing beam of light? It's a very important question. And it has two specific answers. The second one is, does anyone know why 660 nanometers was chosen as the frequency used for red light therapy? That is probably the most important thing that you can understand and relate to as trying to really understand how red light therapy or any type of the light therapy works within the body. Now, other things that we want to cover, they're basically specific words that we're going to go over. One is nitric oxide. The other is near infrared light. Wavelengths of skilled cell... Okay, let's try that again. Wavelength of cell tissue. We want to understand why the solid beam of light is used, and we want to also understand why a pulsing beam of light is used. We're going to touch on the words hemoglobin, uh, metochondria, mitochondria, and cytochrome C oxidase. Okay? So basically, okay, these are big, heavy words at times, but you've got to find words that will actually help you relate to your, your clientele better so that they can really understand what you're trying to tell them and how you're, you're, you're really going to help them. So um, what I want to do first is explain, well, our lights, we, our, our practitioner lights are very specific. They have five settings. They have a high beam, they have a medium beam, they have a low beam, 
Then we have our first pulsing mode, and then we have our second pulsing mode. And it doesn't matter if it's red, or if it's blue, or if it's even green. Each light has a specific function, and each one operates individually and separately because they have specific jobs to do. We also have our new infrared light, near infrared light, that you can't see infrared light. There's a little tiny diode in there that just shows a little red light. And these new ones are all five function as well. It took us over a year to convince our supplier that we needed that in a five function light. Before it was just an on off light. And speaking of on off lights, we've got another project that we've just completed. And what it is, it's something for your clients to use at home. And basically, it looks just like your light. And it says red on it. And it says new wave therapy on it. And basically, it's much easier and uh, less technical for your clientele to use. Basically, it turns on and it turns off. It turns on, it turns off. In other words, it's on off only. It is not a multifunction light. It's so much easier for clients to use and it comes with a, a reduced size booklet. It contains a lot of the same information that you get of settings for specific uh, protocols and understanding how these things work. And these are the, this will actually allow your clientele to continue the program that you started for them in between their visits to see you. In addition, it will make them realize how important what you're doing with the light therapy is. And it will make them much more committed to the program if they can use it at home. Now this light will be great around the house, great in the kitchen. Uh, had my wife, <laughs> she's burnt her hands cooking, uh, has used the light uh, right away on the situation, uh, used it for two to three minutes. Uh, there's been no pain, no swelling, no blistering, uh, and within a matter, matter of two to three minutes, it's gone. Use it on minor cuts, cut yourself around the kitchen. Kids are outside playing, and they fall down, they get a scrape, they get a, you know, all that. This will help with all that. Again, if you get a cut, it's going to help with uh, eliminating any type of scar tissue, the same situation. Plus, they can use it on any specific protocol that you set up for them. And just like in the book, you've got all of these protocols that they can do on their own. Now, the only one that they that is not in there uh, basically is if, if our indigestion problems. And you can take that out of the new manual, the second edition manual, the, uh, the, the practitioner manual, make them a copy so they can do that at home. So basically, this light is going to do a lot to increase your business and help so many things that uh, people have been saying, well, why do I have to keep coming back so much? They can actually be more committed to your program by going out and actually doing a few things at home in between the scheduled visits and actually you having a better control of the entire situation. So basically, uh, some of the points I want to cover as well in this, this, this video is the once you produce more cellular energy, uh, the better the entire body functions. So if you're doing really comprehensive light therapy work in your clinic, and then you're having your people follow up uh, at home, they're getting more and more energy into their body and their body's going to function better. And it doesn't matter what protocol you're talking about. It will affect all the protocols and inter interlock and interact with the protocols you're presently using. Uh, it'll just be a, oh, it'll be such a boost uh, to their healing and not so much their healing, but the body healing itself. Now, one thing to remember that even when LED light therapies uh, are removed from the, the skin, when you take the light away, the cells continue their internal healing process. And a steady beam of light, here we go with this steady beam of light, uh, it removes 
or dulls the pain. It reduces inflammation and allows the muscles to relax. That's what takes the pain away, the muscles relaxing. Now, let's go to the pulsing beam. The pulsing beam of light is best for internal healing effect by producing more protein uh, than it would normally do and helps the, seal, uh, helps the cells to heal faster internally. And once they start to heal internally, they start to push their way up all the way to the surface. Now, various research programs uh, have been created, have been started, and they promote the use of different wavelengths for the treatment of certain conditions. And it's generally agreed that the wavelength between 625 nanometers and 900 nanometers are the most effective for healing wounds and other skin conditions. Now, the 660 nanometer frequency works better than any other frequency because it's closer to the, here it is, the resonant frequency of cell tissue, allowing it to be better absorbed, and, uh, so much better in the hemoglobin. And hemoglobin is, um, oh, it's the part of the blood that actually activates so much within the entire healing process. And, and then you can, the mitochondria can absorb the red light easily at 660 nanometer wavelengths which roughly coincides with the absorption peaks of the molecule cytochrome cry C oxidase. And that is the actual target. That, that little molecule is the actual target of light therapy. And what light therapy does at 660 nanometers, it detaches the molecule nitric oxide from the mitochondria itself and that allows the, oh, this word, cytochrome C oxidase to remove its energy producing metabolic function. So basically, um, I know this would probably create a lot of questions, this type of, you know, th this information, but it's something that if you have questions, you can get to uh, answer, get your answers through contacting us directly uh, through our email, which is you can bob at newwavetherapy.com. You can go to our website. Uh, you can go to our Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash newwavehealth, all one word. Um, all of those situations are open and honest to you, and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions. You can even text us. Um, so what, what we really want to pr pr promote here is that red light therapy works from the inside out to enhance mitochondria function in your cells, and it can help it can help the body decrease skin inflammation. It can help fade scars. It can help with stretch marks. Uh, it can even build collagen in the skin, which can start the massive internal healing ability of the body in relationship to wounds. So red light can also positively positively impact the lymphatic system by increasing blood flow and sub and also improving the body's ability to detoxify. Now, when we get into near-infrared light, this is a new area we're really starting to promote, but it's one we've done a tremendous amount of work with. And near-infrared light, and it's, it's at a wavelength that makes it invisible and unable to be seen. And now, it's similar to red light therapy, but it has the added benefit of penetrating deeper into the body itself. It penetrates roughly twice as deep as standard red light therapy. The, now the, the uh, near infrared light is what they call 850 nanometers. Uh, red light therapy is set at 660 nanometers. But basically uh, you have to remember that this light can't be seen by the naked eye. Uh, it's best to use this with uh, some sort of filtering goggles or glasses. Um, it can damage the eye if you it directly into the eye. Uh, but it's as far as use on any parts of this body, it's it's safe. The only problem is is the eyes. You have to be careful around the eyes. Now, 
near infrared light penetrates deeper into soft tissues, muscles, joints, and even bones. Uh, it's been reported as penetrating deeper than any other wavelength through skin and bone. There's very little heat generated by either 660 nanometers, the red light therapy, or the 850 nanometer uh, near infrared uh, light therapy. So there's no possible thermal injury or individuals using any types of uh, light therapy. And LED lights of any kind is very well tolerated by biological tissues and is, is, has no known you know, uh, effects, negative effects. Light penetration depends on power, it depends on wavelength, and it, tends, it, tends, uh, it also depends on the proximities to the skin. Now, red light therapy has been around for over 40 years. It emits specific wavelengths of light to restore, repair, and protect body tissue that have been either injured, degenerated, or at the risk of dying. While varying wavelengths affect the body differently, most effective wavelengths for red light therapy and internal healing ranges from 625 to 900 nanometers. And that's why new wave therapy concentrates specific on the 660 nanometer and the 850 nanometer wavelengths. That's the ones that over the last five years we have received the most benefits from, the best feedback from, and had use with all types of clients, whether they're horses, dogs, cats, people, uh, anything with bone, tissue, blood, uh, that breathes, it can be used. I've heard of stories, people using it with snakes, using it with birds, uh, you know, it can be used with all ages. So basically, uh, you know, I want to tell you, any, if you would like any more information, you need to go to our YouTube channel and take a good look. We've got, oh, 50 plus uh, videos there. Constantly looking to upgrade and expand that. So until next time, this is Bob saying thanks for coming by.